Hello friends, this is Rashmi Trivedi. Let us take a look at the various tablet excipients which are widely used in the pharmaceutical industries during the manufacturing of various tablets. So, all the types of tablets are compressed unit solid dosage form. Whatever may be the type of tablet, whether a conventional, chewable, film coated or enteric coated, and whatever may be the method used to manufacture the tablet, direct compression, wet granulation or dry granulation, we do make the use of tablet excipients. So, we can say that processing aids or the non-drug component which will be required during the manufacturing of tablets are called as excipients. Again, tablet excipients may be described as processing aids, non-drug component or the additives required during the manufacturing of the tablet. These are the various excipients. The basic essential excipients used during the manufacturing of tablets are diluents, binders, disintegrants, lubricants, glidants and antiadherents. In addition to this, there are various optional or special excipients which are used in varieties of the tablets other than the conventional tablets and these are super disintegrants, sweeteners, colors, flavors, film formers and polymers and there are many more in addition to this. This is a typical flow diagram which represents the various methods of tablet manufacturing that are the direct compression, dry granulation and wet granulation and you can see the use of various excipients during the manufacturing. So whether it is direct compression, dry granulation or wet granulation, the use of excipients is inevitable. So let us begin in the detail with the excipients. So very widely used are the diluents. Diluents are those excipients which increases the bulk of tablet for ease of handling and swallowing. When the quantity of drug is too small, we do require the diluents. The examples of diluents are microcrystalline cellulose, lactose anhydrous and the spray dried lactose, diabasic calcium phosphate, directly compressible starch and dextrose. The next category are the binders. The binders are those agents which impart cohesiveness to formulation. They bind the powder particles into the granules during granulation and binds the granules into the tablet during compression. The examples of the binders are starch paste in warm water, very widely used in laboratory, gelatin, Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, povinylaline pyrolidone. Next, we come to the very important excipient disintegrant. As we all know, for the tablet to dissolve, it should first disintegrate. That is, to break into the small fragments and then into the granule. Disintegrant promotes the disintegration of tablet when swallowed. The mechanism may be swelling effect. Enhancing water penetration or increased porosity because of which there is a breaking of cohesiveness. Here we can see wicking and swelling. In wicking, water is pulled into the pores by disintegrants and reduce the physical bonding forces between the particles which cause the swelling and the particles swell and break up the matrix from within. Swelling set up the localized stress which spreads throughout the matrix and eventually the tablet disintegrates. The examples of the disintegrants are starch, starch derivatives, primogel is an example of starch derivatives, clays which are the vegums, bentonites and cellulose. The next class is the lubricant. Lubricant powder, lubricant lubricates the powder mixes and aids the tablet ejection. It reduces the friction between the dye wall and tablet wall during compression. The lubricants are blended for the short time with the powder before compression. 
if the blending is too long with the lubricant it may cause increase in the dissolution due to the waxy layer over the granules which increases the hardness and therefore the dissolution the examples of the lubricants are magnesium stearate stearic acid and tar next are the glidant which improve the flow property of the powder mixes and therefore are the are very much important for the uniformity of the weight of a tablet example are cornstarch tar colloidal silicon dioxide and silica derivatives of which the example is aerosol now next super disintegrants now these are the special or the optional excipients super disintegrants swell up to 10 folds in 30 second in water and the example of super disintegrant are cross povidone and sodium starch glycolate there are many more super disintegrants and the super disintegrants are used in oro dispersible tablets or wherever you want quick disintegration then there are the film formers where uh, we can have a film for the film coating purpose example is ethyl cellulose and hpmc we can have it for the enteric coating where we want the dissolution of a tablet in intestinal ph the examples are methyl acrylate methyl acrylic acid copolymers cellulose acetate phthalate uh, hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose phthalate then we have sugar coating which is for the protection and also to mask the test and the examples of the agents used in sugar coating are shellac waxes and sugar syrup all these are used to form all these film formers are used to form the enteric coated film coated and sugar coated tablets next we have sweeteners obviously they are there to enhance the sweetness and mask the bitter taste and the example are saccharin aspartame mannitol widely used in chewable tablet lozenges sublingual and the buckle tablet then we have polymers the special categories are hydrophilic polymers polyacrylate polymers natural polymers and the examples of hydrophilic are hpmc polyacrylate polymers we have eudragite and the natural polymers we have sodium alginate carbopol and chitosan they are widely used for the sustained release and control release where we want to modify the release of the drug then we have colors obviously the fda approved fdnc and dnc dyes in lakes are used for colors and for the flavors we have fda approved flavors oil colors and flavors are very much required when you want your tablet as a chewable tablet lozenge gel tablet lozenges or buckle tablet so that was all about the excipient i hope you have got a short glimpse about the various excipients thank you